Okay, so I've just done a fresh install of Raspberry Pi OS on this 120 gig Kingdian SSD drive. And uh, the one thing that I always go on about about Raspberry Pi OS is the lack of a launcher to be able to search for apps. You have to do it in the sort of traditional way where you click on the link and then you've got to sort of filter through. There's no sort of direct search on it. But I've been sent a link that allows you to install three launchers in one go. So let's switch over to screen capture. So thanks to RPI Coder who created this and also sent me the link. He's also got a YouTube channel just like I have uh, doing mostly, I think, all Raspberry Pi content actually. Uh, so if you head over to the GitHub, and I'll put a link in the description for that, you just have to scroll down until you find the installation part. So we've got to click on this and drag across and copy. Open a terminal and paste that in and hit return. And while that's doing that, we can drag across this next line and copy. And you can see underneath there is a way of uninstalling it. You can just put that into terminal if you don't like it. So right click and paste and hit return. And you can see it comes up with this message. Uh, this script is made by RPI Coder. Special thanks to BotSpot for helping me with the script. Uh, so press any key to continue. And this will start to install on its own. And you can see that this has uh, popped up to say which theme do you want convert to Mac OS Big Sur Light or Big Sur Dark. So I'll do Big Sur Light. And you can see everything's changing in the background. And things like the close app has changed. So we can close this down. And you can see finish converting theme installation over. So let's close that and close this page. Okay, so first up is U Launcher. So at the top here, you can see there's a little magnifying glass. If I click on that, uh, it comes up with this box. And if I start typing something like screen, you can see it comes up. Uh, if I do display or settings uh, or something like calculator, and then if you click on it, it launches the app. You can probably, uh, let's see if I just press return. So screen and hit return. Yeah, it launches screen as well. Or oh, nice, nice Mac symbol there. Uh, and all this is customizable as well, but it's just a great way of finding out about different launches and then being able to think, well, that's the one I want to use or use all three together. And, and it does change the look of everything. I really like the way it's all done. So the other one is Panther Launcher, which is clicking on the Apple logo. So if I left click on that, you can see it comes up with some nice big tiles nice and clear, very easy to use, uh, and I'm scrolling left and right with uh, two fingers on the trackpad. And again, you can just start typing. So uh, I think this, this um, if I try display on this, you see display doesn't come up, which was weird because it came up in the other, but if I type screen, so maybe this doesn't search as many uh, different aspects as the other one does, as you launcher does, but it's just, a, again, a different way of doing things. You can see all the things that it's gonna pick on there. Uh, in fact, did it find, if I do settings, oh, yeah, it did do settings, and it comes up with lots of options, yeah, that's quite nice as well. And we also have down the bottom here, light pad, so if I click on that, something else similar, very similar to a Mac, uh, and nicely presented. And again, well, let's try, let's try screen again. Yeah, screen comes up, display, display doesn't though, weird just a different way that the launchers work and what they search. A lot of these things tend to be customizable. Uh, I wonder what this appearance settings is. So that's something that's been added in here. Oh no, it's not, it's just the logo. So this is the standard bit that would normally be there. You can see the picture at the moment is Mac OS Big Sur, uh, but I've got, in fact, I haven't got any images on here because I haven't put anything on here, but if you wanted to change it, you could change it from that side. In fact, Let's change it from my NAS drive. So if I call up files uh, and I go, oh, it's different. So plus, oh yeah, it's found my drive, connect and public. Oh no, yeah, public and wallpaper I've put in. And this is one I've been using more recently. So let's copy that and pop it in, can I do it from here? Documents, no, you can't paste it in there. 
But if I go documents here and paste that in. In fact, let's put it into uh, pictures because uh, it will show you on the top bar how that works. Has it done it? Yeah. So let's close that down. So pi pictures bubbles and open. There you go. And that changes the background. Now if I go to the top bit, oh, it didn't save it. Oh, did I did I not press something? Maybe I didn't press something right. So big sir and pi and pictures. Click on that, hit open, click OK. Maybe I pressed cancel, did I? Yeah, I think I pressed cancel instead. So you can see here in the pictures, if I click on the top here, these are like quick access to various different folders. So you can see I've got bubbles in there and I've got it also in documents. So you can, you've got direct access to something that's there. So great work. Uh, I really like the way that you've got three options to choose from there. And, uh, and I like the way that it does with the customization and everything like that. The only thing I did notice is I couldn't, I couldn't shut it down. Uh, so obviously I know I can use the terminal to shut it down, but I couldn't find a shutdown option on the page. And I was right clicking and I, was, I would normally on Raspberry Pi OS do control alt delete, but that seems to have been disabled now. That would normally give you a shutdown option. Uh, I could try Alt F4, but that also doesn't do anything. So I actually don't know uh, how to shut this down without using terminal, but that's fine. Uh, let's look up how to shut down with terminal. So one that I've used before, there are many different ways to shut down a Pi, is sudo shutdown dash h now. Uh, but I'm not going to do that just yet. Let's go back to that GitHub page. So this is where all the information is. And if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, there's a list of all the people who've made the various different themes. And thank yous to all the people involved, because there's loads of different projects together in this. And uh, it's really nice that it's so simple to be able to just put that script in and be able to install it all, but also uninstall it if you don't like it. So thanks very much to everybody involved. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.